Okay, welcome to the White Project. I'm still riding an energy high. So it should be pretty upbeat in this episode, and that's good. Because it's a super depressing game we're living right, playing right now. Welcome to the Long Dark. So this will be another one-off for sure. And I do have a reason for wanting this to be a one-off. First of all... What's the best way to put this? This game is a game I bought in pre-alpha. And it's a decision I don't regret because I'm looking forward to it moving into a story. It's, uh, there's a planned story mode once it comes out of alpha. Alpha gameplay is something I actually do have incredibly mixed feelings on. On the one hand, it allows smaller indie developers a chance to... What's the word I'm looking for? Have a more... What the socks? It allows smaller indie developers to perhaps... What's the word I'm looking for? I forgot again. Antibiotics. Take it, why not? And a candy bar. Sweet. It lets them have basically a larger budget earlier on so that they can work towards... Uh, so they can do more ambitious projects down the line. Uh, but then again, it also means that you're paying for an unfinished product, which means that you won't... You don't have that guarantee of quality that you may want in a game. Um, that being said, I can't, we can't stop people from doing it, but there are things we should stop developers from doing it. Like, I'm firmly against microtransactions. I refuse to play any game that incorporates microtransactions into its pay system. And I encourage everyone to do the same. Do not pay for an unfinished product. DLC is fine, by the way. Uh, paying additional money if it adds a explosive amount of new content is fine. For example, the Shivering Isles. Uh, all the Fallout DLCs. Uh, most of the Mass Effect DLCs. Paying for that kind of stuff, that's fine. If they want to create additional content and then allow you to pay that to enhance your game experience, that's good. But paying to play your game, making a, a, giving you a situation which the only way to win is by paying out more money than just, is just by paying continuous amounts of money, that's not fair, I don't think. Um, a lot of people prefer that, like, uh, it's in the, the, the reason I'm against it is because I wouldn't mind if it was a subscription base, because at least then you're paying a set amount of money each month, and that's fine for an MMO or whatever. It's, I should say, I'm fine with that. It's not personally my tech of tea, but I don't have anything against it. Uh, but... Boy, I am easily distracted. But at least that's something. We need to find shelter. Anyway, I'm way off track. So, The Long Dark is a game I bought in pre-alpha, and it's a decision I don't regret. But I bought it on the promise of it eventually having a story mode. I have no interest in its sandbox mode. And the reason for that is this. It poses an interesting counterpart to Minecraft. Minecraft also has survival elements. However, in the world, so, however, in Minecraft, survival is not the only goal. Your goal is to, of course, survive, and you got respawns and all that kind of stuff, and that's cool. But more important than just simple survival is building up and changing the world, having a real impact upon it, uh, and changing it and making it your world, making it your place to live. Something that you don't really get in this game, unfortunately. I don't know why I bother doing to do this. I don't have a fishing rod. In this game, uh... It's pure survival in sandbox mode. That is your only, uh, that's the, your only option, is to just, is just to survive. And it's not, I can see why it would appeal to some, but it doesn't appeal to me just to survive. 
I need more than that. I need to be able to build towards something, which is why I would... I, that's why I like Minecraft, but don't like this game. However, I don't mind building towards something on the promise that... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't mind, I don't, I wouldn't mind just surviving if I was working towards something, which is why I bought this game, because I thought it had a lot of really cool mechanics and a very cool atmosphere, and once they release the story mode, it'll have a purpose. Like, just surviving is not enough of a purpose for me. I need to, like I said, build towards something, and if that, what I'm building towards is simply a story mode, getting from one place to other, uh, that's good for me, but... Uh, like I said, always need more. Always need a purpose in my games. I am one of those people that if you give me a huge open sandbox, uh, I do enjoy a huge open sandbox, but it has to be a huge open sandbox with a purpose. Um, I don't get, like, and if you, and it can't be, I have to feel like the main story means something. Like, for example, I don't particularly enjoy GTA. Oh boy, I need a fire going. Warm up. Okay, start fire. I guess the other issue is that it's a very slow game. It very slowly builds into things. Uh, like I said, at the end of the day, it's just about keeping yourself alive. And that's just... It doesn't give you a lot to talk about. But it is a very beautiful game. Very atmospheric. A very interesting to go through. And definitely worth perhaps a bit of your time, and I do think that once we have what you would call the uh, the story update will be good, I'll be really happy to, I'll be happy to play this game, like, and play through the story mode. Can I... It actually has gone through quite a few updates, now that I think about it, because uh, I don't recognize most of this stuff, I played it very early on when it was first released and haven't played it much since, so... Nice. Okay. Let's see if I can try fishing. Like, I don't remember being able to fish. There was also difficulty settings. Uh, it also stirred me off with a lot more gear. Oh, the fire went out while I was doing that. That sucks. Fishing tackle is required, and I don't have fishing tackle, apparently. I have a line and a fishing hook. That should be good enough. If I had a fa flashlight, I could probably catch some fish. There's a very brutal method of fishing uh, that you can do. Fuck, I failed. Let's try that again. There's a very brutal method, actually illegal method of fishing that I won't share with, because uh, you're, you're only technically allowed to do it. Son of a bitch. You're only legally allowed to do it um, if you are freezing to death. Uh, or if you're going to die if you don't, so... I won't share it. If you want to look it up, you can't. Actually, I'm not sure if you're only allowed to do it. I shouldn't quote that like it's a 100% solid fact, because I learned that when I was a scout, but the person who taught it to me was like a teenager. I was 12, he was a teenager, and teenagers are all a bunch of, if you were ever a teenager, you know, you were just a friggin' dumbass back then, so it's entirely possible what he was talking about was, he was just pulling that out of his ass, but his claim was that it boiled down to animal cruelty. Um, okay. Cabin. Book. Bed, bed. Plastic container. Oh, nice. Basic ski gloves. A little warmer in here. 
I can craft. Break her down. And I don't have a hatchet. Yeah, so I'm not going to share the method with you just because it's kind of, uh, not I don't actually consider it all that interesting. Uh, but yeah. Um, completely lost my entire train of thought. Which happens a lot with me. So, sorry about that. Nice, nice. Let's break that down. Anyway, long story short, I'm only going to do a one-off of this because just watching me survive I don't imagine would make for very compelling viewing. Although, I have to say, apparently I should probably go back to Shadow Warrior because that got five views in one day, which is in the last, like, five views in two days, which is freaking phenomenal for this channel, even though I think one or two of them were mine, my own feels, me viewing my own stuff. I should check this. Up my calorie count. One thing I do find interesting is kind of stockpile. I can eat these using sure. Sweet. So that hunting knife was a good find. Eating. Actions. Harvest for scrap metal or repair if I had fur firewood. I'm not sure if that makes a whole lot of sense. Shit, I need a fire. Wizard needs fire badly. I will run to one of these fishing huts and start a fire then. Running will of course raise core temperature and body heat. And I don't know why there were no fire pits inside of the little huts, which would have been really convenient. Because a uh, bed and a fireplace. One thing I don't like about this game, or at least I didn't like, is they wouldn't let you do things that I would do, like cover yourself up with cedar firewood. Nice. Okay, we can't take any risks here. So... Take this. Oh shit, we did not find any more tinder. Uh, let's open the cupboard. Let's open this. Is a new print? Okay, we can't take any risks of this not working, so we're gonna need an accelerant and we're gonna go with the cedar. Boom. There it is. Boom. There it is. Try heating up some peaches. If I were actually uh, playing this game, I would be really screwed right now because it's almost nighttime and I'm almost done for the day. Luckily they don't make you carry containers. Anyway, I'm done playing this game for the moment, so I'll see you next time on the Way Project, guys. And we had a little bit of a discussion, you learned a little bit about my taste in things. And, uh, see you guys later. Bye!